You got oh dang okay I was about to be excited. Oh, it says going live at the top. Okay, I think it'll say oh we are live. Okay. We are live. We are live. Yeah. Hi everyone. My name's uh, Vivian, and I'm with me here today is Jerry Lee, um, who is an ex senior strategy and operations manager at Google, um, and a current manager and product strategy at Lucid. He's also the CEO of One Salting, where they partner with universities and organizations to help others land into their dream careers. And he's amassed 83,000 plus followers and has reached 15 million professionals on various networks. Um, so today, Jerry will share with us how we can all maximize LinkedIn strategies to land our dream jobs um, and make sure to leave any questions you have um, in the chat, and then we'll have a quick uh, Q&A session at the end. Um, so with that, I leave you with Jerry. Cool. Thanks, Vivian. And no huge problem. shout out to, the, to everyone who organized this amazing event. I am so excited to be here, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I see some folks who are here. Rafid, thank you for seeing some of my LinkedIn posts. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Are you guys all in Canada? Are you guys in the US? Are you guys outside of Canada and US? Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Shout out to Tay for reaching out and being so persistent of uh, hitting us up. And I'm so excited to be here. We have Ottawa, Canada, Quebec, Singapore. Oh, wow. We got Singapore, Toronto, Calgary, Vangen, Colorado Springs, Winnipeg, Quebec City. Okay, so we got a huge Canadian presence. I love it. And where are you guys currently in your careers? Are you guys currently students? Are you guys uh, professionals? Are you late professionals? What, where are you guys in your careers? All right. Interns, okay. We got Rafid from interns, students, students. You guys are gonna be on my Instagram. You can follow me at I am Jerry with three R's. Cool. Students, okay, awesome, perfect. So all of you guys are currently students, new grads, interns, graduating right now. And who here is still looking for an internship or a full-time role? Type me in the chat if you are. Type me in the chat if you're looking for an internship or a full-time role. And Utsav, just for you, I'll follow back, okay? <laughs> okay, cool, awesome. So what we'll be talking about today, let me go ahead and share my screen, is everything that I have personally have learned and have used both as a hiring manager and as a recruiter to find people to land roles. And you guys are asking me, do I get an automatic job for following my Instagram? Only one way to follow up, follow, follow up, all right? I am Jerry with three yards. So with that, let us continue. Um, awesome. So with that, I want to first give you guys a quick intro about myself. My name is Jerry. I'm the CEO of One Salting. I was also recently named uh, LinkedIn top voice for tech careers uh, by LinkedIn, which is really cool. And I'm in Los Angeles, California. So if you guys have uh, are in the area or you guys want taco recommendations, you guys can hit me up. So I want to walk you through a little bit about my background. So I graduated college back in 2017 and I went to Babson. Who here has heard of Babson? Type me in the chat. Otherwise, you can leave a smiley, uh, a sad face in the chat if you have not heard of Babson. Me or a sad face? All right, Vivian's the only one who has not heard of Babson. That's okay. All right, a lot of you guys. That's okay. No harm, no harm, no harm, no foul. Okay. So, but it was a lot of you guys, what you guys are saying, this is how every other recruiter felt. Whenever I reach out to every recruiter on LinkedIn and people that I hit up, everyone would say, Jerry, sorry, I don't, I've never heard of Babson. I don't even know what school that is. And it's on, it was honestly made it tough. Right? Who here's felt that way when you reach out to recruiters? They're like, "Sorry, we don't recruit from your school," or "Sorry, we're Canadian and we don't recruit uh, Canadians." Type me in the chat if you felt like that before, right now, because that's exactly how I felt when I was back in college. I got rejected by a number of companies, but fortunately, somehow I became the first intern at Google from my alma mater, from Babson, and Babson's been around for over a hundred years, and. After I graduated, I was young, hired as one of the youngest analysts into the org. I broke the promotion record for the fastest promotion in about eight months to becoming a strategist. Six months after that, strategy and operations manager. A year after that, a senior strategy and operations manager. And but after I left my role at Google, I managed a product strategy team. But guys, low key, you can't, can't tell anyone this, okay? It was just between 
me and all 206 of you guys. I haven't announced this, but I am now full time on One Soul Ting. So yes, I am now. I've left my job. I am 100% fully dedicated on One Soul Ting. You guys are saying, "Damn, this guy's flexing on his Google career." I absolutely am because if I can do it, guys, that someone who comes from a low income, first generation background, so can each and every single one of you. And that's exactly what I'm hoping for you to cover today. If is this guy, what you guys is this what you guys came here to learn? If so, give me a hell yeah in the chat. Give me a hell yeah in the chat. Thank you, guys. You guys are so dope. Man, I feel so touched. I love it. Thank you, guys. So let's get started, guys. So we are going to be talking about two main things on the agenda today. What are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about how exactly you can find hiring managers and uh, recruiters and secondly, I want to talk a little bit about how you guys can specifically build a digital presence online so that you guys can have recruiters come to you. With that, let's get started. So, um, cool. Who here recognizes what this is? What is this screen here? Tell me. What is this screen here? What is this screen? Damn, I see a lot of emojis. I see a lot of faces. LinkedIn, okay. LinkedIn, LinkedIn jobs. Exactly, right? For me, this was a wall of rejections. That's exactly how, how, I, how I think of this. Because every single time I applied for a job, I got rejected. But what happened was before I learned everything that I knew about LinkedIn, what would happen is I would, I would click on a job. I would have this thing come up. I would say, perfect. I was sent to an app. I was, uh, had my application sent in and I felt like, this SpongeBob. Who here's felt that way whenever you apply for your dream roles and you're like, I cannot wait to get an interview. I cannot wait to get hit up by that person. Who here's felt that way? Type me in the chat if you have. For me, I felt like the SpongeBob, but what happens two weeks after? What happens two weeks after is I felt like this SpongeBob here. I was sad. I was crushed. My heart was torn, but same with my resume, right? My resume got torn. So how do you go from here? How do you guys find a job, guys? What? How do you guys turn that frown upside down? How do you do it? How do you find a job during these times? I know my heart, guys. It was crushed. I remember I got rejected from all my dream companies. Somehow Google called me right? Yes, you, got, you want to get feedback, but how do you guys find these jobs? Keep applying. Don't stop, right? No, guys, the answer is Netflix, right? Who here watches Netflix and what show recommendations do you guys have for me? If you guys are thinking about what shows I like, I like really trash TV, so I like Too Hot to Handle, The Circle. Who here, just, who here has heard of those shows? But give me some Netflix recommendations. Man, Kirk, the office, the office got, it's not on there anymore, man. Damn, crash landing on you, Vivian. Man, I knew you were a simp. All right, Demon Slayer startup. All right, cool. Guys, no, it is not Netflix, guys. It is LinkedIn. And so I want you guys to tell me, which of these three roles do you like the best? Marketing coordinator at Google, software engineering intern at Facebook, or account executive? Which of these roles do you, are you guys interested in? And I will show you exactly how to use LinkedIn to get those roles. Tell me, tell me, tell me. See a lot of Facebook. We see a lot of Facebook. Okay. Cool. Awesome. So let me go ahead and share my screen on, on LinkedIn here. So what you guys want to do is go on to LinkedIn, right? Cool. So what you guys want to do, right, is type in software engineering, engineer intern, right? And that's it. No, I'm just kidding, guys. You guys are probably being, what is this guy talking about? This, I do this every day, right? No, what you got, what I want you guys to do is you guys see this button right here, posts, click on posts, right? And suddenly what you'll have is a list of all these, you got 43,000 results, right? 
But guys, that still doesn't help us, right? So what I want you guys to do is click on all filters, right? You see this author company here? Type in Facebook. Facebook. And what do you guys see here? What do you see here? Who's this person right here? Who is this person here? Who is this person here? Is the recruiter, right? So hold on, let's let's go let's go on to this post here, right? Let's go on to this post. This person is literally the university recruiter for Facebook at for software engineering internship, right? But guys, this is one person out of every other company, every other role that you can solve for, guys. Guys, this is so easy, right? Because now what do we have here? Once we have Cecil, right? I, I hope I didn't butcher his name. We can quickly see, look, oh my gosh. Who's a sophomore and who's interested in Facebook University product design? Who's interested in product design? Because he literally shared another design recruiter post for a sophomore internship, right? And yeah, Caitlin, you're right that there's only for certain schools, but guys, all you have to do is go down that list of posts and reach out to every single person, right? Because now what happens, guys, right, is that we spend our time so much time focusing on all the efforts that we can do to just apply online, right? And, but what, what you want to do is focus all your time on reaching out to the right people, recruiters, hiring managers, because guys, that is how you get your foot in the door. Because, because guess what? How many people do you think actually send personalized invites? And again, the way to go about this, right, is I want you to click on their profile, see that they're a recruiter connect with them, but never click send. I always want you to add a note. And again, I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit more detail of like a template and everything that you guys can use. But once you guys have this, I want you guys to send a note and always click send. Cause guess what guys, I will literally show you my connection request, no flex or anything, right? I have about 3,500 people in my connection requests, right? Utsav, shout out to you for sending out a connection request, right? But guess how many people send messages? We have one, Preeti, we see you here, two people, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, literally, there's maybe about eight or nine people out of literally 100 people that send personalized invites. And yes, I'll go through all my, all my, <laughs> I'll Absolutely accepting you. You know what, Usab? Just for you, I'll accept you. Even though you didn't put a personalized invite, I'll, I'll I'll let it go. Should I type W in the chat if you want me to accept Utsav or type in F if you want me to swipe left on this guy? W or F? W or F? Should we accept? Ignore? What's going? What's going to happen, guys? What should we? What should we do? W W W. All right, all right. Just just for you guys, I'll accept you. Okay, okay, cool. Right. But let's go back to this, right? So guys, remember, as you guys go through your roles, right? No matter what role it is, always make sure you use that LinkedIn search. Send a personalized invite to those people that you want to connect with and make sure you follow up. <laughs> I love the chat and the energy right now. <laughs> and it is so funny. Okay, anyways. So uh, cool. So Let's say that you wanted to do account executive at ServiceNow, right? What do you guys notice about these posts? What do you guys notice about these posts? Tell me. What do you guys notice about these posts in the chat? What do you guys notice? They all say now, low number of likes, exactly, right? Because look at this, guys. One like here, no likes here, no likes, no likes, no likes, right? Guys, 
if you can be that one person to comment or like, and similarly send a personalized invite to these people, all you, you're going to be that one person who stands out out of everyone else who applied online. 90% of people will click that apply button. 10% of people will send it, try to network. And 1% of people will try to send a personalized invite. Make sure you send a personalized invite, guys. And similarly, when you come across profiles like this, guys, what do you guys notice about this profile? I'll give you 10 seconds for you to look at this profile. And sorry, it might be blurry. So for those people, it isn't blurry. Uh, what do you guys notice about this profile? What do you guys notice about this profile? Words. It scares me. Elias, please. Want to go through this together. I'll hand hold you through it. Through it out, okay? What's that service now? Very wordy. Yep, exactly. But guys, look. Look at their activity section. Look at their activity section. What does this activity section say here? What does this say here? He's literally a recruiter, right? Even though his program or his role doesn't say recruiter what he is is he's a hiring manager right a hiring manager is a person who actually makes sure that they're the ones who are the person who's hiring right recruiter is the only person who helps with them right and so you guys might be thinking guys and i saw some comments there below right what is a personalized invite a personalized invite looks like this and guys feel free to take a screenshot and make sure you keep this for later Always use this type of format. You always want to have an introduction, a buffer, intro, an observation, and ending. Okay, guys? Make sure that you guys always send a personalized invite to everyone that you connect with because nobody else does this, right? Screenshot this. You got five, four, three, two, one and a half, 0.5. Done. Cool. And lastly, take a take a screenshot of this. Make sure that if you guys are sending a personalized invite and they connect with you, but they but they don't give you a message back and they and you want to follow up, make sure that you follow up in this way and send them a personalized invite. Again, send another screenshot and make sure that you hit them up after you follow. And Rafid, I see that you asked what happens if we get ghosted. I got you. I already predicted your question. Cool. Oops. Well, I guess I didn't. So um, what happens if you guys get ghosted, right, is it's okay. The fact of the matter is, is that I showed you one person out of literally a thousand people that you can connect with to get an internship at Facebook, right? And guys, how many companies are there that you'd want to work for? It's not just one company right? It's literally hundreds of companies multiply that by the number of roles that there are available, right? Because now what you're doing is you're making the recruiter's life easier, right? You are literally saying, guys, this, I am literally handing you a qualified candidate, AKA you all, AKA me, right? And guys, how many jobs do you need? Give me a number. How many jobs do you need? How many jobs do you need, guys? Do you need five jobs? Do you need 30 jobs? You only need one, right? Exactly. So, guys, make sure that as you think about the roles that you're applying for, all the networking, right? So many people focus on the negative. So many people focus on the rejections. But, guys, all you need is one job. And make sure that you don't lose that goal in mind because so many people do. Awesome. Woo! That was part one. How'd you, how are you guys feeling? What's the energy levels at? And Ellen, I see that. There's a 10 to 15 sele- uh, second delay in the main chat. All good. What's everyone's energy levels at? One to 10. Give it to me. You feeling like a one, five, 15? Because I'm at a 35. Awesome. Good. Pump. Awesome. So let's continue talking about digital presence. This is something that's very near and dear to my heart because this is something that I feel like almost nobody does, and it is only going to be for you guys, okay? But guys, before we dive in, I have a question for you all. 
Who comes to mind when we think about digital presence? Who comes to mind when we think about digital presence? Give me some words that come to mind. Okay, guys, guys, please. Wendy's, <laughs> Matt, you guys, are, you guys are literally my biggest cheerleaders. I love you. I honestly, I should just have you guys around, Mr. Musk, right? Yes, exactly. How do you guys know? Elon Musk, this man with beautiful green eyes. What is this man known for, guys? What is this man known for? Tell me down in the chat. What is this man here known for? Why is he famous? Yes, memes, absolutely memes. Being a jerk, right? Yes, right. Twitter, PayPal, richest person in the world, SpaceX, Tesla meme reviews, right? This guy is literally all that. And guys, how do we know everything that came to, came to mind when you guys think of Elon Musk? It's through his favorite mode of communication, which is Twitter. So let's go through some of his tweets to learn how we got to know and love Elon Musk, right? This tweet reads, Tesla made zero cars in 2011, but we'll make around 500K in 2019. Guys, what do you guys, what words come to mind when you read this tweet? What words come to mind when you read this man's tweet? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Bold, glow up. Flex, yeah. <laughs> Objective growth, right? 500K flex, right? It's literally all these, right? And and so just by reading this, you go, damn, like this guy's flexing. He's determined. He's optimistic. Your stock's going to grow up, right? But at the end of the day, like you guys, he made a car company, right? And revolutionized one of the hardest industries to penetrate. And he did in eight months or eight years. It's pretty impressive, right? Flex, but he has some right to, right? Next one. If you like tonight's launch, you will really like Falcon Heavy next month. Three rocket cores, three X thrusts, two cores return to base during synchronized aerobatics. Third lens on drone ship. Guys, what, what words come to mind to describe this man's intelligence after we read this tweet? What words come to mind for you all? What words come to mind? Is this guy smart? Complex? Yeah, Rocket Course, Pog, Promo, Builds Hype, Drone Ship, Big Brain, UAV, <laughs> Twitter IQ, Pog, right? Simping, literally this guy's simping hard on his freaking Falcon Heavy. I don't know if he's talking about Rocket Ship or he's talking about himself, but guys, this guy's literally also created a rocket company, right? While balancing a car company, creating SpaceX, pretty impressive, right? Last but not least, guys, I'm considering taking Tesla private at 420 funding secured. Guys, what is 420? Guys, everyone keeps telling me what 420 is. I'm just kidding. Ellen, Ellen and them are going to kick me out if you guys answer that question. But guys, who here knows the story? Who here knows this story? of what happened after this tweet. Let's type me in the chat if you know. Type me if you know a little bit about this story. The SEC would like to know your location, Amon, right? Yes, exactly, that's illegal. Because what he did was he manipulated his stock price so that he, he pretty much committed securities fraud, right? And this guy pretty much got kicked off the chairman of his board. He got fined like $10 million, right? All this stuff happened. But why does he do this? The reason why he does stuff like this is you guys mentioned, right? This dude is straight up a meme. He is a troll. He loves to mess around with people. But that's just who he is as a person, right? Whether or not you love Elon, that's that's who he is. And so, guys, you guys might be thinking, Jerry, why? what are we even doing? Why are we reading through his man's? tweets the reason why we're looking at his tweets is because what just happened 
we read through eight lines of text and guys literally look through the comments look through the comments of what we had what words came to mind after we read eight lines of tweets right promo drone ship pog flex right reliability a uh, relatability impact all those words came to mind because we read eight lines of tweet but guys what are your eight lines and what is your professional brand? The reason why this question is so important for you to think about is because we are at this point where we are no longer just going through the traditional realms of recruiting. It is no longer about going to career fairs. It's no longer about thinking about how we go to through all the, all the resumes, right? It's about how you go out there and present yourself because I think about 70% of recruiters, they'll always look at your LinkedIn just to see the kind of person you are, right? And so I want to show you guys my personal LinkedIn that I used when I was recruiting and I got interviews at about 20 companies, right? So at the top here in the about section, right? currently accelerating the growth and scaling one of the fastest growing X billion dollar businesses at Google. Outside of work, I am passionate about developing others professionally and sharing the importance of personal finance <laughs> and Gen Z communities. <laughs> right? Stop, you freaking troll. Um, so going back to this, right? What do you guys think I tried to do in those three lines in my about section? What do you guys think I tried to do in my about section here. What do you think I tried to do? What do you think I tried to do, guys? Yep, my brand, exactly, to the point. Because guys, at the end of the day, a recruiter is no, going to spend no more than five to 10 seconds to go through your LinkedIn. So if someone read this, these three lines and they said, eh, I don't really care about Jerry, then sorry, I probably wouldn't have been able to add value anyways. And so it would have, it would make no sense for us to talk. Right. But if someone read this and went, damn, like this is the kind of person I want to learn more about. What, what will you see when you go down? You'll look at my current company. You'll look at my previous roles and my promotions, right? And notice that in my section, in my descriptions here, I don't have 10 paragraphs to describe my work. I only have a couple lines because again, your LinkedIn is supposed to be a tease, right? It's supposed to be your Tinder profile. It's not supposed to be, Hey, this is all, this is everything about who I am. No, you want to show your best photos, but show a little bit, be a little bit more discreet so that then they, they have to message you to learn more. Right? So guys make your LinkedIn like your Tinder profiles. All right. And you guys might be thinking, Jerry, why does this matter? Right? Why does this matter? Guys, what are some of the company names on this list? Type them out in the chat. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds. Type them out in the chat. What company names are on this list? Flex. Guys, list them out. What, what are the company names? Spotify, DoorDash. Yep, Facebook. Sorry for those people who can't read. I don't know why. Wind River, right? For those people who can't read, uh, who can't read this uh, because it's blurry, Netflix, DoorDash, Indeed, Spotify, Facebook, Wind River, right? All six of those companies, in addition to 14 other tech companies, have all reached out to me on LinkedIn Simply because I post on LinkedIn, guys. Simply because I focus on building my digital brand. But guys, do you know the first question I ask every single recruiter that I connect with? Do you know what question I ask them? 
the first question I ask everybody is, how did you find me? And the answer is honestly all the same. Everyone says, oh, well, I actually saw that you created a post and uh, one of my colleagues liked it. I looked at your profile and I just wanted to learn and your background seemed interesting. Second, second type of answer would be, oh, hey, you know, I actually just was using recruiter LinkedIn, uh, the recruiter function on LinkedIn, and I came across your profile and I just wanted to learn more. Oh, I think my computer just crashed here. Give me one second here. I think my computer just crashed. I was going too hard, guys. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool. Awesome. So guys, I have a challenge for every single one of you guys. Sorry, I don't know why my computer just crashed or my monitor just crashed, but guys, I have a challenge for you guys, right? For those people who want to start thinking about their digital presence, for those people who want to start getting messages like I did, right? I want you guys to literally make sure that you guys get those type of messages and how you guys do that is creating LinkedIn content and the content that you guys, you guys might be thinking, man, what do I create? Literally create one of two things. One, create a LinkedIn post about your story. Keep it super simple, right? And share a little bit about who you are. And the second thing is post a, post about some of your learnings about this workshop, right? Because at the end of the day, guys, you want to be branded as someone who is helping other people, right? A community builder. Because at the end of the day, when people recruit you, they look for two things. They look for whether or not you can do the job and whether or not they want to work with someone like you. Your LinkedIn content, your LinkedIn profile will help you cross off that list of what of your of whether or not people would want to work with you guys. Right. So, guys, who here is going to create a LinkedIn, a LinkedIn post? Tag me, tag Juan Zolting, and who here is going to do that in hopes that you guys can get recruiters and our brand of community of about 150,000 people will like and comment on your post. Who here's gonna do that? Type me in the chat if you're gonna do it. Tay, you're gonna do it. We're gonna make sure all the traffic's to you. Ellen, same with you as well. Awesome, guys. Tag me because, guys, this is so simple, guys, right? This is what we call reactive recruiting, giving opportunities to you rather than you always having to go out and seek those opportunities, right? The first half of this presentation was talking about how do you go out and seek those opportunities? The, latter, the second half of this was thinking about how do you bring opportunities to you guys? And with that, here's some examples. If you guys want to see some posts uh, that did really well of people who we've talked about, feel free to take a screenshot of this as well. But otherwise, guys, Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. If you guys want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, we have our email here. We have my QR code on the right. And guys, I would love for you guys to literally send Jonathan Javier, the CEO of One Salting, um, one of my best buddies, a personalized invite and just be like, Jerry sent me here. I would love if you guys did that. Let me post his LinkedIn URL because I think that'd be so funny if you trolled him. But anyways, guys, I know that I spoke a lot. And I know that I don't have much time and I'm pretty sure I went over time. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I see a question around, do you recommend posting videos instead of written posts? Personally, I prefer uh, written posts because most, I think a large portion of, I think 80, 90% of people look through videos without sound. So you would just want to make sure that you do that. Awesome. How do you know what to post and how often do you post? I personally post about two to three times a week and I post whatever I feel like has been a good learning for me or something that I came across and a lot of people have uh, have hit me up about. And if they're asking me a lot of questions about, hey, Jerry, like how do you get interviews without applying online, which is what we specialize in at One Zolting. Um, that's something that I do as well. And guys, hit me up on IG if you guys want to chat further. Up, I listen my uh, link here below. How do you create a good about and summary section, guys? Honestly, like I'll literally show you the the one that I did. 
currently accelerating the growth and scaling one of the fastest X billion dollar businesses at Google outside of work. I'm passionate about developing others professionally and such. Uh, so keep it short, keep it simple and make sure that you make it impact oriented. Oops. Can I enter? <laughs> oh, so we're actually, we after, we've actually hired like five interns at one salting. And if you guys are interested, um, follow one salting on our, uh, Instagram. So Instagram one salting Elias, if you can make pretty good memes and you're actually good at content creation, hit me up Jerry at one salting.com or hit me up on IG, send me some of your stuff. We're actually hiring a content strategy intern right now. So just hit us up. Uh, awesome. Uh, sharing the slides. Yeah, I'll send the slides over to Ellen and team, maybe Tay, and they can send it out. Uh, Clubhouse, I think is kind of, eh, like, I'm not a big fan of that yet. Um, I've tried it like a couple times and I just was like very average about it. Vivian, sorry. I, I might take way too much time. I'm pretty sure I take I just want to, yeah, unfortunately we're out of time. Um, but we will be having a Q and a session in the Discord for our VIP ticket holders. So for those of you who are VIP, um, you can continue to ask Jerry questions there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we are out of time, but thank you so much for coming and inspiring all of us today, Jerry. I feel very motivated, so. <laughs> yeah, thank cool you. guys. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again so much for your time and attention, guys. Like this is absolutely what I love to do. So hit me up on IG if you have any questions, follow me on mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Uh, follow Juan Salting, hit up Jonathan Javier. Uh, we love doing these type of things. So again, Vivian and team, thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Um, we'll see all of our VIPs on Discord. And yeah. All right, everyone cool. have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Bye.